it's something I had seen on Reddit, uh, yeah. actually. Uh, it's actually a Yale professor. Right? Yeah, it is. A geologist, yeah, right, that found uh, this uh, new species of dinosaur. Well, not new, but something that we had not known about. And because of its frill, which was meant to attract the opposite sex, he named it uh, Mojo Ceratops. And we thought that that name really uh, encapsulated our sound and uh, what we were doing. We call ourselves just like dinosaur. Dinosaur, prehistoric rock. Yeah, prehistoric rock. <laughs> Dance rock. Dance <laughs> funk, awesome party, mm -hmm. shake your butt music. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I really like the yeah. noise scene. Yeah, yeah, we've been to a few basement shows. Scene's fairly large, I, I would suppose. Yeah, there's a lot of bands around our, our level of, you know, notoriety that kind of are playing the same different clubs in town, and it's, it's a cool scene. I am. I grew up playing in bands in New Haven. No way. Um, so like, yeah. So I, I think we're actually more of a New Haven band than anything I've ever heard, you know, the reason I ended up, you know, deciding I wanted to play with these guys is because they had the same, you know, uh, mindset and kind of sensibility about playing music and energy of performance and it actually, a lot of bands I've seen come out of New Haven have exactly that same kind of thing. That's how we met. Through Nathan. Yeah, we played a show in New York. Yeah, we played this uh, art gallery with uh, with Nathan's band, Sister Helen, mm -hmm. Sister Helen. Helen. and uh, we just happened to meet him at the show, and we were talking about, you know, possibly setting up a gig together, and I was like, you go to Yale, I'm from New Haven, and immediately, I couldn't wait to come back here and play a show. I feel like saying Triceratops is like a cheat, yeah. right, because that's the same... Ah, pterodactyl. Yeah, pterodactyl. Pterodactyl is pretty cool. The noise alone. Like, <laughs> that's um, a Velociraptor. Clever girl. That's a good one. That's Velociraptors good one. are cool. They're like feathery, awesome chicken birds. All the songs really have a sexual <laughs> subtext to them. <laughs> and so. drugs. And drugs. And drugs. Heavy or drugs. Or blatant. Just escape and partying. Yeah. I mean, you can't like. Would you? I don't know. I. We're like Rodney Dangerfield. Just because we start yeah. like you ever see Back to School? How's Back to School end? Random party. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> you don't read into that. Yeah. It's a party. It is. Yeah, it they is. would definitely. They would. Well, this isn't very deep. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be difficult <laughs> to dig. They that clearly deep. want us to dance, and we probably should. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you think you need to see it? <laughs> Emphasis on fun. James Brown. James Brown. David Byrne. Prince. 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 James Brown. We're working, working on, on one. one. Yeah. Well, we actually have, we started filming a video for uh, our song Party Bot 9000. And we, it's about half finished now. It's a robot who likes to party. Party, 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 his party, soul, robot. His sole mission <laughs> in life is to party. <laughs> <laughs> Breading? Yeah. Like for cooking? No, it's like a slice of bread that should just fit over their head, like right in front of their ears. Oh. And they look miserable. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they almost certainly are miserable. That's you great. Go. You should check it out online. Breading. <laughs> yeah. That's how we're taking over the internet. Breadingcats.com.